<sighs> it's really starting to get pretty late in the evening now, but don't worry, Devin, we're still here for you. I know it takes a little while to have some puppies, so we'll just, uh, we'll just be here for as long as you need, and Pine, you're doing a good job just sitting there, and darling, I know this takes a long time, but I promise, it's the miracle of birth, even though you kind of don't want to watch it, but I totally understand that. But, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. We're gonna have to wait and see just how many puppies Devin is going to have. All thanks to you guys supporting her and cheering her on. Oh, I'm so excited, Devin. How many puppies do you have hiding in there? All right, everyone. It was a very, very long night of waiting, but finally, thanks to your guys' amazing help by leaving a like on the last video and showing the community support behind Devin, we're finally able to count all of Devin's puppies, and they're all born and ready for us to admire and look at and just see how cute they are and be excited over, and I can't wait to share them with you. Are you guys ready for this? Remember, this is thanks to you guys. This is thanks to your help. This is thanks to our amazing amazing community coming together for Devin and Pine that they have are you ready for this are you ready dun 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 dun, dun. six puppies six puppies you guys they have six little babies look at this one two three four five six babies congratulations Devin oh my goodness congratulations and Pine congratulations it was a very very long night and it was so exciting and oh my gosh some of you guys were so so cute like leaving comments that were like push Devin push good luck Devin just cheering Devin on oh that was just oh my heart was so happy and Devin look at all of your babies check these little babies out you guys there's six of them six of them thanks to you guys so basically for every puppy you're looking at high five 99 other people because they were with you and you guys are responsible for having helped that puppy ever be created so that's just oh that's just oh I love it I love it I love it I love the way that we can come together and just expand our world together and and just grow families I mean look at this happy little family look at them oh my goodness and darling was here staring at the entire event the entire time I might have to make real life darling like watch a puppy be born or something on YouTube so that I can I can be like there now you have shared the experience because he's never seen it happen and so many of you for sharing the birth stories of your animals oh it was just it was just an amazing amazing day all together uniting over like I remember when there were puppies born I watch puppies born on YouTube all the time I mean it was just it was amazing and now we have a whole big new little family here and I'm so excited because look at the variety of colors we have the puppies in Dev and she's doing very good don't worry she's doing quite fine she enjoyed that chicken the ginger chicken quite well oh and you guys a public service announcement, don't feed your dog garlic. I had a feeling garlic was a no-no and it was totally a no-no. It is toxic to many dogs. So never feed your puppy garlic. I learned that. So thank you guys for sharing that in the last video as well. And look at them, look at them. So I'm sure you wanna know more about the puppies. Well, we've got a few collie puppies. We've got a few wolfy puppies. Some look a little more like, uh, let's say their dads. Some look a little bit more like say their moms. Some look like a good mix between the two. You. look at this guy this is actually thanks so much to Luca who is a amazing Minecraft skin artist who has worked for us before well I say worked like thrown amazing beautiful creations of artwork into our laps before and they did it again and look at this we have a little more wolf shaped puppy that has the collie little colorings on it oh my gosh and then we have a little like collie puppy that has the more wolf colorings on it look at that look at how cute they are I just love it so Ah, we also have the names. Are you guys ready for this? Because I'm so excited. You guys had so many, so many, I mean it from the bottom of my heart, so many amazing names and stories and tales about your animals and what pets you had had and why the names are so important. And it was so hard to pick. So I just really had to follow my heart and go with the ones that I felt would match with Devin and Pine and their little family. Look at the big little family. There's so many puppies. Devin, Devin, no wonder you started looking quite round. Oh, this is so exciting exciting but we have over here one two three so this is little girl little girl little boy little girl little boy little boy so we have three girls three boys which is absolutely perfect oh my gosh and I would love to hear which of the puppies you guys are the most excited about seeing grow up because I kind of you know when you're at this stage you want to keep them all I mean I want 
want to keep all of them. Look at them. Look how tiny and cute they are. I want to keep every single one, Pine. Every single one. They're just so cute. Oh my gosh. But we have over here little Fern. So Fern is actually the name and high five to so many of you guys who remember this from our Sims 4 series because that's where we have the more Sim versions of all of our, our dogs that we have here. Well, well, one day we could have you, Martha. Don't look at me like that. One day, you know what? You'd make a good mayor in Sims 4, Martha. So I'm watching you. But yes, we have the Sims versions and there that's where Devin actually comes from. Is she is the the beautiful very interesting woman that that Pine fell in love with and he fell in love with and married Devin or well, they're not married yet, but they have a family. So Pine and Devin have a little family and their daughter is named Fern. And so that is where the name Fern comes from. So high five to so many of you guys who remember that from our Sims 4 series. I think that was absolutely perfect. And then we had some really cute names suggested like Lassie. So this is Lassie named after another famous collie. Devin, are you distantly related to Lassie? I wouldn't be surprised. You're quite adorable. So we've got little Lassie here and then we have Copper, a little boy named Copper. That name just jumped out to me and I was like, it's perfect. It's perfect because of, of Devin's beautiful fur. And so we have little Copper right here. And then over here we have little Ginger. So little girl Ginger is right back here. I think she's actually woofy shaped with her mother's coloring too. So Pine, she, she kind of looks like you in the body, but she's got mama's coloring. Isn't that so much fun, Pine? Oh my gosh, I love it. And then over here we have little, let's see, you are Aspen. So little puppy baby Aspen, who looks more like mom in the body, but dad in the coloring. Oh, I love, I love seeing the amazingness of the genetics as animals like have babies and their colors mix and their shapes mix it's just so much fun I'm so excited and then finally we have little baby Rex which just it was another one of those names several of you suggested and it just jumped right out and I was like you know what we have lastly we should have Rex so we have kind of the the cut like the mineral and the plant names and then we've got little Rex and little Lassie and I think they're all adorable look at all the babies now in real life you guys know that puppies are actually born with their eyes and ears closed and so they're they're pretty helpless as most mammals are when they're first born and it'll be a long time it's usually at least a couple weeks before the ears start opening and when I say the ears open they're just really tight up against the skull they aren't like the canal the ear canal isn't really open and humans it is when we're born but in cats and in dogs and several other creatures, they're not. And so they, they can't really like hear and then they can't really see because it takes a long time for their eyes to finish opening. And it's really like, oh, when you see puppies and kittens bumbling around for the first time, and they're like, whoa, look at this big giant world. I've been smelling it, but I haven't been seeing it. That's just the most adorable thing. But our puppies are uh, being Minecraftian varieties already have their ears and eyes wide open they're looking around at the world and i cannot wait to have them out in the yard oh this is going to be so much fun but speaking of which we need to make oh, oh it's so hard i just oh i just want to look at them one more time oh they're so cute but oh, oh uh, okay okay siri you can do it you can tear yourself away from the babies even though they're ridiculously cute and thank you martha very much for the eggs i know i need to formally thank you because it'd be rude just to assume you're some sort of dodo egg factory producing machine even though that's kind of what our chickens are uh, oh, oh my gosh i mean look at them i just don't want to tear myself away from the babies but let's go outside uh, Okay, I can do this. Darling's watching after that over them anyway. Oh, where's Aki? Oh man, and all that mail we still need to get. Oh my goodness, it's been so busy. Where is Aki? Things are like grown and oh, Aki. Aki. I'm suspicious. Ladies, did you kidnap Aki? Okay, I'm gonna have to go get Aki because I bet I would bet you money she's like inside. Yep, I bet she's inside. <laughs> so we'll go take care of Aki in a second. But Tate, congratulations! You are a grandfather! Isn't that so exciting? That is so exciting! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Alright, and then we've got over here... Let's see, this is where Zoe is. Aki, Aki, there you are! Are you stuck, sweetie? I think she's stuck. There she goes. Alright, she's on the run. She's on the run. Hey, Pavo! We have puppies! Yay! Six puppies! There. Alright. Oh, but that's just so exciting. So what we're gonna have to do for the little family and- Oh my god! Oh, goodness, Aki! You're gonna just, like, you're gonna give me gray hairs leaving everything on the ground like this. You really are. 
Uh, and that really, if she's going to leave, like, Azuki beans and all this wheat on the ground, then thank you. That's so cool of Pavo. Um, if she's going to start leaving all this stuff on the ground, like, what if the puppies choke on them? Aki, you can't do this. You can't just, like, leave stuff on the ground like this. The, the babies. You got to think of the babies. So I was thinking it's about time, even though I have preferred in the past leaving the entire yard open for the dogs. The thing is, then they wander off the hedges. And then Mr. Cow, <laughs> meanwhile, I have mammoths. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to have going to have to go see your mammoths one day for sure. OK, we're going to have to start meeting up with everybody soon and showing off our our animals and showing off their animals and it's just gonna be exciting oh my gosh but I was thinking it's time to make a proper dog yard section of the dog or dog of the yard I mean so that the dogs will be safe they don't have to sit down they're always sitting down because if they wander too far away from their food dishes they start getting hurt and taking damage so I was thinking we should rope off somehow fence off this section of the yard which is away from the spooky bad waterfalls um I might make sure that like this fence is here and Mr. Cow do you want to why do I have cows here I really should take these cows <laughs> I'll just put this cow over here for now I guess I really should take these cows and like oh I know I was gonna say take them out to the barn but I bet that my Zomberry village my Zomberry village villagers would be very happy to have a cow or two and like a little cow shed I should do that we should heal up some of the Zomberry villagers and take the cows over there and have like a little little cow area Zoe I guess you're an auntie or something now and you're also hungry so come this way but yeah, we'll clear up like the pumpkins that we have growing back here. We'll double check to make sure like they can't climb out of, of the area over here. And then let's see, we'll put hedge fencing down all up along the river so that they can't just like, you know, climb into the river and drown because they're baby puppies and I don't want that to happen. And then we can put up some dog houses and we can make sure that there's more dog food bowls everywhere with food and just make sure that like there's all the puppy happy things like we can get little chew toys for them and put them in the yard. I really like that idea. In fact, okay, hang on, hang on. I know Zoe, I shouldn't keep you in there so long. Um, but I wonder if I can actually make the dog yard a little bit bigger. So I'm going to work on making, yeah, I think I can make it a little bit bigger. It's a little bit nerve wracking to have it up against the side of a cliff. Oh, yep. Dogs could probably get out here. So I need to make sure that's fixed, but I could try to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe do a little more landscaping over here. Maybe even make it like go, like make the whole area a little bit larger. And yeah, then we'll have to put maybe a big giant tree. I'll grow a big tree over here or two. And then we can like make a whole bunch of little dog houses to put in here. So that's going to be really exciting because we're going to turn this into a little dog yard. Oh, what kind of toys should we have in here, you guys? What kind of little toys should we have for the dogs and the puppies? All right, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. All right, come here, you guys. I'm going to move a couple of these ground gardens. I wonder, let's see. Oh, we'll put them over here. You know, having like little wild little wild gourd ground gardens and just chuck those potato seeds on the edge of the property is a good thing oh wow and look at how my little um casual mushroom farm is doing over here <laughs> oh my goodness oh and actually i should use this thing i forgot this path is even here but we should come over here and like chisel away at this path and make it so it will go down where the heck does this even lead i haven't even been here since we moved in oh to the apple tree i forgot it led to this apple tree but we should use this area, like right here. Voila, you guys. There's the path that we've always needed to get up and down from this side of the zoo and back up to my house really quickly. We just need to come over here and like make a proper path out of it so I can run up it really quickly with stairs and then loop around here. And I can like Bob's your uncle and I can pick some nice apples and keep running. Dun, 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 and then I'm in my yard, and that would make life so much easier than having to run all the way over to Sunflower's tree. I can't believe I forgot that was there. I'm pretty sure that's why I put that there. Now I feel silly. Oh, well, we'll get to that in the future. So I'll work on building a little dog yard. Let's clear this out of the way so that no puppies, no puppies chew on questionable things. I'm going to clear these out of the way, too. They're really cute, and I want to kind of decorate the other side of my, my little waterfall area with them. 
but yeah, there, there. So we can like kind of come through here. I'll expand over there. And we'll have to figure out what kind of fun chew toys. What's your dog's favorite chew toy? Or if you had a dog, what would you think their favorite chew toy would be? Or toy in general that we can put in the yard. And then it'll be so nice because then we can always have our dogs set to wandering. And they will always have food. And it won't be like they just have to sit and be like, good puppies, don't move all the time. So I'm so excited about that. And I'm so excited we found Aki. Aki, I'm not so excited about the way that you keep leaving. Oh my gosh, all the produce. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's a pumpkin. I can't even pick up the pumpkin, Aki. Why? Why, Aki? Why? Uh, all those stuff that's just potentially going to waste, Aki. You, I love you, but why? Aki, what are you doing in here? Are you stuck again? Aki? Aki? Did she short circuit? Aki? Hello? Aki? Are you too full on the zuki beans? There you go. Oh. I think she got stuck in here. That's adorable. Because she was stuffing things inside this chest again. Oh, that's so cute. All right. But I think that this is going to be really good. So once we get, like, the puppy yard set up and we move Devin and her puppies out here, as Minecraftian puppies, I think they'll do A-OK -okay outside over here. And we'll make sure they have little dog houses and the big trees and things. Um, but yeah, once we do that, then maybe I'll try to help Aki with the yard a little bit because this is kind of chaotic and I still need to check my mail Oh my gosh, there's so much to do and Aki you're leaving the beets on the ground. What am I gonna do with you Aki? Oh my goodness uh, Maybe she's just gonna be she's gonna she's gonna worry me to pieces That's what she's gonna do I really need to open up that market stand in relic ruins too because we're getting so much stuff from what Aki is gathering for us It's amazing. Look at her go leaving all those tea leaves to rot. <laughs> Oh, all right, so let's go take one more look at the cute little puppies. Oh, I, I can't wait to see which puppy is going to become like your favorite puppy. And I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I need a roasted chestnut. Roasted chestnut. I don't think puppies should eat roasted chestnuts. I'm pretty sure that's another thing on the no puppy list, like garlic. Not sure. And there, whoops. And thank you very much, new dodo egg. And look at them. Look at the little babies. Oh, you guys, thank you so much. This is thanks to you that we have these little ones in our life now, and I cannot wait to share their stories and watch as the family continues growing. No hints, no hints tossed there, darling. Don't you worry. No hints, no hints. Or it was there. Well, <laughs> all right, I will see you guys next time. I'm going to get started on expanding the puppy yard, and then we will put in the dog houses and decorate it and clean up the yard a little bit tomorrow so that I can finally feel like, I mean, it feels like I have to crawl through a battlefield of jack-o'-lanterns before I can reach my mail, and I hear that there's some really, really exciting mail waiting for us. So I'll see you guys next time. Look at the little puppies. Bye-bye.